Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Shara Fear, 25 man normal in the Terrace of the Endless Springs. Hello. Yes, I do like this fight. It's very nice. You've got like a, like a little platformy bit where you got to kill pandas and the boss is like a huge monstrosity thing. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's I a good you. fight. It's a good fight. Now for this encounter, you want to bring two to three tanks, five to six healers and a mixed DPS makeup. And if you believe your raid DPS is very, very high and you think that everyone's more than capable of pulling high numbers, then just bring two tanks. Yeah. Now, as I said, there are two real parts to this fight. There's a part where you have to go on a platform and you kill some panda, but there's also the boss part, and we're going to talk about what the boss does and how to work around his mechanics on his platform. And first off, we're going to talk about his breath of fear. Now, this breath is cast every time the boss reaches full energy. It will more or less kill you if you're caught without a defensive cooldown. Like, if you do get hit by this breath, then you are pretty much going to die, and it will also fear you for five seconds if you do manage to survive it. However, if you look at the encounter area, there's sort of like this wall of light that comes, like from the middle of the boss. If you're stood inside this wall of light, which you will be the majority of the time, um, you're completely immune to this breath, you'll never get hit by it, so it's not too much to worry about. Also, while you're inside here, you take a 10% reduced damage from every other ability that's in the encounter. Also, where the walls sort of meet, right on top of the boss, there's a little circle. Now, this circle is like the tanking circle. Never go in this unless you want to tank the boss, because this will make the boss fixate on you. The boss doesn't have a threat table, it only works on fixates, or depending on who is in the circle. However, if no one's in the circle, the boss will go absolutely nuts and just blow everyone up. Yeah, it'll just, it just start raping everyone, which is just bad. Now, another thing for the tanks to worry about is that uh, the boss has something called Thrash. Now, every fourth melee swing, the boss will hit three times. So it's, it's kind of like Chimera a little bit. It'll just do like a double, well, it's more of a triple attack now. So you just got to be wary that you just want to be using your cooldowns for that sort of stuff and just let your healers know I'm going to be taking extra damage every now and then. It's nothing really too much to worry about, but you should try and make a rotation for it. Now the boss also throws skulls at people, just dealing a little bit of damage, and it is splash damage to so make sure you spread a few yards, but um, yeah, you can't really do much about that. It doesn't so really do that much that's damage. Just, it's really. just something for the healers to really do, if I'm honest. Now the main ability that the boss does, is he'll spawn a pair of adds, and the adds will always spawn one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. Now these adds have a shield that prevents them from taking damage in front of them, much like the adds on the Will of the Emperor encounter. Yeah, the so you need to make sure that you go behind them to attack them. Now these adds won't do any damage to you from melee hits or anything like that. They'll spam something called Penetrating Bolt. This does moderate AoE damage to the location of where a player is standing. However, you do have enough time to move out of that location that is an obvious animation. Make sure you don't get hit. However, you do get hit. You know, you'll take a little bit of damage, but you'll also get a debuff that increases the damage you take from shadow attacks by 10%, which is practically everything in the fight. So yeah, yeah just try not to be hit by these. And what you want to be doing is um, going out, killing these adds, and just make sure you're back again by the time that the boss is going to cast Breath of Fear because these adds are outside the wall of light. Um, using things like um, blink and speed increases, also the teleport from the um, the Warlock teleport portal things, if you run through them, that's a really good way of getting there and back as well, so that's quite nice. Um, you just want to kill them and come back. Um, that's all you really need to do, so you just might want to put the boss on a focus so you can see his energy or just have timers or something. Just make sure you're always in that Breath of Light, otherwise you're just there's no point in you being there. Now the boss will always do exactly what we've just explained he'll never change apart from one thing he'll do where he'll take a group of players to an outer shrine in the instance and it'll always take one tank one healer and three DPS now on these shrines there is one single panda and you've got to kill the panda but the panda's also fairly pissed off and is attacking you as well now the panda has several abilities and we're going to go through them one by one starting off with dread spray now what you'll do is just fire like cones of damage at random locations around the platform and what you need to do is uh, try and move out of these however if you're hit by two of these within eight seconds of each other you'll be feared for two seconds which is just annoying however you can dispel the fear so you just want to try and move out of these it's you don't have a lot of time you just got to try your luck you might want to use immunities like i don't know if uh, like a uh, you might want to use Ice Block or something if you're taking a shit ton of damage and you're low. Um, just to try and make it so you take as little of these as you possibly can, but you will probably be hit by these. On top of this, the panda will also be spawning Shar Globes as you do damage to him. Now, these globes won't really do anything. They'll just sort of spawn around the platform. They kind of look like the um, the Mistweaver Monk passive. Mm. Yeah, the, you know, little like healing the little healing orbs. They look like them. Um, however, if you do not consume these orbs within 8 seconds of them spawning, they'll heal the panda for 5% of his maximum health. So it's important that you do eat these up. 
but when you do eat these up, you will also take damage from them. The damage isn't that high, it's pretty pathetic. Um, and you'll also gain your primary resource back, which means if you're a mana user, you'll get mana, or if you're an energy user, you'll get energy, or fury, or whatever. So it's important that you do eat these up. Now, the way you do eat them up is literally just running over them as well, which is to note, but just make sure you don't start picking these up if you're on low HP. If you're going to die, as anyone really there, you cannot die on that platform because it's, it's going to be very likely that you're not going to be able to make it back in time because you do need to make it back in time, which we'll cover in a second. But um, So if you are going to die by picking one of these up, you might as well just leave it on the floor. So just be very careful of that. Now, the panda also does something called Death Blossom when it's ease around 25% health. It's just a massive hard-hitting AoE, and um, basically what you need to do is just run behind the pillar. You avoid all the damage that way. So once he's doing it, run behind the pillar, let the AoE go off, and then just kill him again. Now, the reason that you want to make sure that you kill this panda as fast as possible and come back is because the boss will do an ominous cackle again when he takes another group of people. Um, so eventually, um, you will lose all your tanks on the main platform, and that's why if you have very solid DPS, DPS, you can always make it back in time before the other group is taken so you can bring two tanks because there'll always be a tank on the boss however if you feel that your DPS say that like any three of your DPS if those three DPS are going to leave your platform will they be able to do it in time if the answer is no you need three tanks because you always need that at least one tank on that boss because otherwise the boss is just going to go apeshit and kill everyone um, so you, that's something that you really really do need to take into account when you do come back from the pandas um, the panda shrines you also do gain a buff for 30 seconds and it gives you a 60% increased damage healing and movement speed increase and you're also giving immunity to fear and um, this is kind of useful if you come back just as he's about to do a breath for fear so at least you won't be feared from it um just just be aware of what the boss's energy is on so you, you can pop a defensive cooldown just before you come back over so you won't get one hit or anything like that and try and be as topped up as possible as you come back as well so overall really in the um panda shrines you just need to be moving from the dreads place picking up the shard, uh, the shard globes, move behind the pillars for the death blossom and just killing them as soon as you fucking possibly can um, and then coming back because of the um, ominous cackle. You just, you want to keep as many people as you can on the main platform as possible because you don't want all groups in different locations because the boss won't have anyone to hit. While you're on the boss's platform, get inside the wall of light for his breath of uh, fear and kill the terror spawns while moving from their penetrating bolts. And that's it. And that's more or less it. Yeah, yeah, you just kill the boss then. So thanks for watching, guys. If this guide did help you out, please do drop us a like. It helps us out quite a lot. And make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you would like to see any of our other 25-man normal guides here on Fat Boss, then please do click up on the screen now, and that'll take you right over to those videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you all.